Hello you, we're riding a tuk tuk. Tuk tuk, hello Mr. Tuk tuk man. Hello. How do you Busy, busy roads. Hello, you. Last night, I broke my selfie stick. So today, I need a new one. So where's the best place to come in Bangkok for cheap electronic goods and accessories for cameras of dubious origin? I'll tell you, it's right here. Pantip Plaza. And welcome back to Pantip Plaza where you can probably see that I've actually got a uh, another replacement crappy cheapy selfie stick but I'm going to go down I'm going to try and buy a better one uh, right now and uh, see what I can find there was a better one but it was uh, loads more than I wanted to pay but anyway this place is brilliant uh, five floors it's a bit like um, Tukong in Pattaya um, except slightly less scummy uh, but it's good, there's all kinds of um, computer equipment, computer accessories, uh, software, camera stuff. Um, they did have a G7X uh, Mark II uh, for around about £470, which is slightly cheaper uh, than uh, they are in the UK. Normally things are slightly more expensive here. But let's see if I can find a better selfie stick. So here's a bit of an aerial view of um, the bottom floor of Pantip Plaza and the escalators go all the way up there. It is a pretty cool place. Uh, I just bought a uh, Snidey Gorillapod SLR Zoom, exactly the kind of thing that I had for my uh, big cannon, which I've shoved on this one and it was five pounds. So how long it'll last, I do not know. But this is definitely the place for all your uh, electronic needs gonna shuffle around and have a look some more. So we're all done and dusted in uh, Pantip Plaza, uh, back in a tuk tuk. Let's go back to where I saw Nana. And this is to give you an idea of how bad the Bangkok traffic is. Uh, right now it's three o'clock in the afternoon and uh, it's pretty much bye bye Pantip at a log jam and it's gonna remain the same all the way through till about 9 p.m. Crazy, crazy times. Uh, so uh, I came down on a motorbike taxi, I'm coming back on a tuk-tuk. Uh, Tuk-tuks take a little bit longer than motorbike taxis and full-on car taxis take even longer than that. If you've never seen a tuk-tuk before, check them out. Three-wheeled motorized rickshaw is the best way I can describe them trying to keep the camera as still as possible but they're not the steadiest things in the world so I'm gonna head back to the uh, Soy Nana and uh, try and do some editing whoa we nearly got wiped out by a bike and uh, I'm gonna be starting the uploads when I get to Pattaya uh, quite simply because I can't get on the internet in my hotel which is a real shame but I've got lots and lots of footage this will probably be video about number four, so we should be well into it by now. And I will be uh, nicely tucked up in Pattaya. So I hope you're enjoying it uh, so far. I'm certainly enjoying my time in Bangkok. It's the first time I've been into the capital for probably about seven years. And uh, the traffic has definitely got worse. It's not rainy today. 
which is happy times. Um, one thing I didn't mention in my uh, mini hotel room review is the uh, Heaven of Four Hotel on uh, Soy Nana it does not have a pool. So uh, I won't be uh, lounging by the pool enjoying the good weather because I don't have one. No windows, no pool. Uh, but it is quite a funky little hotel. Which is where I'm going to head back to now. And I will speak to you lot soon. Go on off. So I'm going to show you uh, how quick and easy it is to get from uh, my hotel uh, to Nana Plaza. We shouldn't take very long as we're on the right street. First thing we've got to do is cross the friggin' road. It's probably the most difficult thing about it. So I've got to say I'm a little bit jet lagged right now. But let's see what we can see, because it's been ages since I've been down here. I used to say on a Soy 2 at the Majestic Grand. Looks like there's a uh, Asia Herb massage spot just down here. And as we move along, tuk tuk. We find lots of uh, street food stalls which I'm sure are delicious but do block up the pavement street walkers kicking around loads and loads of good stuff around here so this is the only little dark bit around the hotel and then As you wander past Nana City Hotel, it starts getting a bit brighter. And you got a 7 Eleven, obviously, they're everywhere. More massage shops kicking around, more food stalls, meat on a stick, 7 Eleven, dripping stuff. Now Hillary seems to be a bit of a chain around here in Bangkok, certainly around this area in Nana, because I think there's at least four of them. And that's Hillary number one. Angels four. I'm gonna fuck this pavement off because it's just not not doing it for me. Might get run over by the old tuk tuk, but at least I can see where they're coming from. I am feeling a bit peckish, but I'm desperate for a beer before I do anything. Another Hillary, Hillary two. As we get closer and closer to Nana Plaza. And when I went past in the taxi about two hours ago, uh, it was about half past seven in the evening and the taxi took forever. Uh, it looked really, really, really busy around the bars around the uh, entrance to Nana Plaza, which is just coming up here uh, with Hillary 4. We've got one of the uh, uh, Bangkok Hooters just here. Not sure my budget will stretch to Hooters just yet. And this is going to be one of the shortest vlogs I've ever, ever done because we've got a Strikers Sports Pub right here and here we are the entrance to Nana Plaza where they most certainly are not going to let me film but that's it that's that's how you get here I'm going to come back to you when I'm uh, in a bar outside but I'm going to go and check out Nana Plaza and see what the hell is going on